Hey you guys, what's up? This is AJ back with another video. In our previous video, we made our enemy characters chase the player around, but when the enemies uh, reached within attacking distance of the enemy, uh, attacking distance of the player, they just did nothing. They just stood there like this. In this video, we are gonna make the enemy uh, attack the player when he comes within range of the player, and we are also gonna uh, set up a suspicious animation uh, when the player ditches the enemy. So. When the player ditches the enemy, the enemy is gonna stand at the position where the player last was last seen by the enemy and act suspicious. That's another animation we are gonna use for a little bit of time before he moves on with patrolling. So without further ado, let's get started. So in the enemy animator controller, I have added two new animations: attack one and have an idle animation. These uh, both these animations have been uh, taken from Mixamo. So I have previously done a video on how to get the animations from Mixamo. You can go check that out if you want to. So the way we are going to use these animations is uh, first the attack animation is going to be triggered by the attack zero one parameter. So if you if you remember, we duplicated the enemy's animator controller from the third person animator controller, and uh, the third person animator controller which uh, we were using for the player had attack uh, one, two, and three, which uh, also which we had set up in a previous video when we set the uh, player fighter script. So if you wanna know how to do that, you can watch my video on setting up the enemy fighter script. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Now, if we actually get to the enemy animator script, this attack 01 is a trigger. So if you go here, you can select a new parameter. I'm gonna choose trigger for attack 01. And what that means is uh, when this trigger is called, or when attack one is triggered, I have unchecked the has exit time. So if the player is already animating something, it's not gonna stay until it finishes that animation. Uh, to, once this trigger has been called, it will uh, right away move on to attacking. Uh, like uh, if the if the enemy is chasing, he has to do that running animation he does when he chases the player around. He's not gonna complete the animation if if he's just come to the middle of the animation. He's just gonna switch to the attack animation once he gets to attacking position of the player, which is kind of what we want. And that's the reason I'm gonna use a trigger for attacking. And uh, when we transition back to the uh, idle or running or any other animation, we want the attack animation to be completed. So I have just set an exit time for that. And this is the attack animation that's, uh, that we are gonna be using. And in case of this idle animation, uh, I have set a Boolean variable for suspicion because we uh, want to actually finish the animation before getting to suspicious animation. We don't want the character to be moving while he is suspicious. And uh, this is the suspicious animation I have got on the enemy. So what we're gonna do is, once the player has moved away from the enemy, moved out of reach of the enemy, he's gonna stand there looking suspicious for a little bit of time uh, before moving on. Now uh, that that's out of the way, uh, let's get to coding. So if you see here in the enemy controller, the first thing I'm gonna do here is uh, get a method for attacking uh, for triggering the attack animation and uh, we are gonna move that to an enemy fighter script but we don't really have an enemy fighter script right now that's a thing for another video and uh, we'll be doing that pretty soon but for the time being i'm just gonna do it in enemy controller script so here i'm just gonna add a public method called start attacking And this is just gonna 
do get component animator and uh, set trigger attack one and that's all we need uh, for the enemy to start attacking the player but we need to call this method from the enemy mover script over here uh, where the enemy is within attacking range of the player so let's just say get component enemy controller start attacking and to uh, get the enemy player suspicious animation uh, all we need to do is uh, add a timer and update it just like uh, we did four times since arrived at waypoint and uh, time to reach waypoint uh, things like that but we are going to be doing that in the enemy controller script so i'm going to call this first field suspicion time And I'm gonna set it to five as a default. Then the timer that we are gonna go updating is called time since last saw target. And uh, this is gonna be mathf dot infinity. Let's say we update this in the update method. So time since last, so target is going to be time to, uh, incremented by time dot delta time. And here we are going to add an other else if. To give another value for enemy behavior when the enemy is under uh, enemy is suspicious of the player and in here we are gonna say time since last so target uh, less than or equal to suspicion time then let's say we update the enemy behavior method with three uh, because zero is for patrolling, one is for chasing, two is for attacking, and three is going to be for suspicious behavior. Now uh, we want to set the time since last so target to zero when the player or oh, the target is locked, as long as the target is locked. Now we can go back to enemy mover and add another condition over here for suspicion. Let's say enemy behavior equal to three. Then the enemy is going to be suspicious of the player. So I'm just going to call this suspicion behavior and I'm going to our tender generate method here all we need to do is uh, disable the damage agent then play the animation so animator dot set pool suspicion comma true and we also need to Set suspicion to false when the enemy is patrolling or enemy is chasing the player. So let's go to patrol behavior. Here we are going to set it to false. And uh, let's go to chase behavior. Here also we are going to set it to false. And that's pretty much about it for making the enemy wait a little time once he has 
lost sight of the player and act suspicious. So let's get back to Unity and check if this works. So guys, as you can see, the enemy is attacking the player. Enemy is chasing the player down. Then he is acting suspicious. Once the player has moved out of the range of the enemy. So all good. That's it for today's video. Hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments down below. Also go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That would be helpful. Until next time, see you bye.